Hi, Nikki here from Purple Patch Fishing. Well, a couple of years ago, I bought, bought my first custom rod from Dusk Custom Rods. I have to tell you, I absolutely love it. So, I thought I should do a review. So, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel, please. Let's get started. Okay, so Sven uses a Samurai blank. Now this is a Samurai 201 blank. Um, it's a two to, four, two to six pound rod or a one to three kilo rod. And it is, it's got a very fast taper. So it's not as stiff as some of the rods I've got, but um, it's got, yeah, it has a little bit more give in the tip, but I think it's a really good all round rod. Uh, for running your know, soft plastics or uh, hard bodies. All right, so let me run you through the setup that I've got on this rod. The grip I've got is an Alps brand grip. I really like the exposed blank through it. I can feel every bite through when I've got my hand on, the, on that bit of blank there. I run a size 2000 Daiwa Luvius reel. Um, I find it really, really nice and light and help that helps when you're casting all day. And to keep it on the lighter side, I put titanium guides on there. Now this is a custom rod, so you can choose what sort of setup you put on your rod. Um, you know, you can, you know, obviously you use a different reel, but with the, the reel seat, um, the end bit, you choose what you want to do and I'll just flip it over. And show you he's even got a little bit artistic here for me and put my name on the rod so absolutely love it um, it's really worth having a look at these rods at dust custom um, and we'll put it put the particulars on so that um, you can look him up all right so this one i've got set up with a soft plastic these rods are really good for casting the lightest of weights from a 132 all the way up to a, a 1/8. Um, I find that I can get a great distance. But not only that is when I actually land, you know, get a bite, I there's enough given the and strength in the tip to set that hook with a soft plastic, but then it's got a nice lot of strength down in the um, sort of the butt end to really pull them out of the snag. So it's you know nice and, and stiff and firm. Um, so it, yeah, I find it absolutely brilliant for fishing soft plastics. All right, I am running a soft plastic now. I've got a 1 16th ounce jigger head on there with my favourite little hurricane soft plastic. Now, when you're fishing uh, light, light, light soft plastics, I love the, um, it's got enough whippiness in the, the tip of the rod to really get a nice long cast so you get that lure as far away from the boat as possible so you're not spooking those fish. But even with the lure that distance, because of the stiffness in the rod, when I lift that rod up, if I lift it up, the rod tip up a foot, a foot, I know the lure is moving up a foot off the bottom as well. So it's you know got that responsiveness about it that I really love. The you know when you do get a bite, if it's a tiny little tick or it's a whack from a nice big brim, you feel it all the way through the blank. I can feel it through here. Uh, I can see it on the tip of the, the rod. Uh, and then setting the hook, I there's enough power in it and stiffness that I can just whack it like, you know, really set that hook into the hard, hard mouth of the, those brim. But it's also then got enough power in the butt that if I'm in the snags, I've got enough strength to really get hold of that fish and get it out of the snags before you know, the fish can get its head turned and get back in. Um, absolutely all fire, all time favorite soft plastics outfit. Love it. So as well as being a good soft plastics rod, it's I find it a really, really good hard body rod. It's good for the minnow style lures or you know, lures that you want to twitch. It's got it's stiff enough in the tip to really work those lures and get it darting around like this. But then, when the 
brim take those hooks, it's soft enough in the tip that it doesn't pull it out of their mouth. It lets it load, loads up absolutely beautifully. We'll cut some footage now of me cutting, uh, catching a brim on this very outfit and this lure. And you can see, you'll be able to see the power in the tip. Yep, yep. He did. <laughs> I told you. Oh, now I'm glad I've tightened my drag up. Listen to that one. He's swimming out now. I'm safe. <laughs> well, mm, maybe not. This is a nice fish again. <laughs> Oh wow, this is just amazing. So I've got what I've got tied on is a Hurricane Twitch 50. So um, it's got a decent amount of weight in it, but the cast that I can get out of this rod is amazing. And I've got all the way up to those snags up there. So uh, it's a really good distance from the boat. So just, it just feels I can feel every movement through that rod tip. Every every twitch, and then when I'm I have my rod, that lure paused. As soon as a brim touches that lure, I feel that rod tip. I just feel it, and I can feel it through my fingers here. So it's really changed the way I can I have, I fish now. It's really because we're, we're, especially when you're using trebles, you you can't strike at the fish, but because I felt it hit. I know there's a fish there and I can gently load that rod up, you know, gently load, load it up and get that fish hooked. So I really think this rod and the fastness and the, and the, of the tip and stuff, I think it really, really helps me with my fishing. Well, for me, this 201 blank is an absolutely ideal rod and setup. I think uh, if you reach out to Sven at Dust Custom Rods uh, on social media, Facebook, Instagram, he'll be able to get your ultimate setup organised for you too. So I'll catch you next time on the water. I've been falling asleep until you hold me down. I got all these dreams and I can't stop now. Gotta make it to the riches, make my mama proud. I was once a lost.